This is problem 275 in the new book and 275 in the old book, and it's all about uh, finding the number of protons and neutrons and electrons in an atom or ion. This is a lot like the worksheet that I gave you in class, only it's with some different compounds. And so what we're going to do is just, um, this is the way the problem is written, and what we're going to do is just fill in the empty blanks here. So let's start with, let's not start with the first one. Let's start with the second one over. I don't know why I want to start there. This gives us the symbol for iron, Fe. It's iron 54. It's got a mass number of 54, and it has a charge of 2+. Plus. And the first thing it asks for is the number of protons, the atomic number. Remember in class we talked about how the atomic number, when it's shown, is shown in the lower left corner. So that's the number 26. The atomic number is not always shown in the symbol right there. When it's not shown, you find it by going to the periodic table and looking up the iron, the box for iron, which is right here. The atomic number is always the whole number that's given usually directly above the atomic symbol. So in this case for iron, it's number 26. The atomic number is the number of protons. The number of neutrons we talked about how that's a variable number. You don't know just by looking at iron that there are a certain number of neutrons in it. You have to determine the number of neutrons, in this case, from the mass number 54. The mass number 54 is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Since we have 26 protons, that means that we have 28 neutrons. 28 plus 26 adds up to a mass number of 54. Because this ion has a 2 plus charge, that means that the number of positively charged particles, the protons, is greater than the number of negatively charged particles, the electrons. If the number of protons and electrons were the same, there would be no charge. When the protons outnumber the electrons, there's a positive charge. And when the electrons outnumber the protons, there's a negative charge. Because we have a 2 plus charge, that tells us we have 2 more protons than electrons, giving us 24 electrons. The net charge, which is already given to us up here, is a 2 plus. Let's go back and do the first one. This tells us that we have 5 protons. We have to figure out the symbol for this particular atom or ion. The atom with five protons, we'll figure that out by going to the periodic table, looking up the element that has atomic number five, that's boron. So we know this is a boron atom or ion. The mass number for this boron is going to be the sum of the protons plus the neutrons. Five plus six is 11. If we want to stay consistent with the way they've done the iron ion here, we'll go ahead and write the atomic number five into the formula. And then it tells us that the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. So this is an atom. It's uncharged. It has no net charge. And we don't have to write a charge here in the upper right-hand corner. Moving on to the third column. And this tells us that this doesn't give us a number of protons or the atomic symbol. So we don't know the identity of the substance yet. We're going to have to figure it out. We do know that we have 16 neutrons, and we have 18 electrons, and a net charge of minus 3. That tells us that there are 3 more electrons than protons because of the minus 3 charge. So we must have 15 protons in this ion. And again, that is because the net charge being minus 3 tells us that there are 3 more electrons than protons. The atom with 15 protons is phosphorus. Its mass number is the protons plus neutrons, 31. And it has a net charge of 3 minus. The next one, we're told that we have uh, 79 protons. On the periodic table, that is gold. We have the same number of electrons, 
as protons, so no net charge. This is not an ion. The mass number is the sum of the protons and the neutrons, 196. Put the atomic number in the lower left corner. And last but not least, we have, it says 86 protons. And that is radon. This particular uh, atom, it says that has a net charge of zero, which means we have equal number of protons and electrons. No charge to write into the symbol. And a mass number of 222. So to review that, the mass number is the sum of the protons plus neutrons. The net charge is the difference between the protons and the electrons. And it's written in the upper right corner.